take me in the locker room here with a quarterback switch. That that can't be easy. Uh, it's got to be certainly for an offensive lineman potentially awkward. How has that been uh, in terms of the transition from a guy that you have known uh, uh, to win games for you, playoff game, as a matter of fact, with Marcus Mariota and now Ryan Tannehill, who has three comeback wins in his first four games here? Yeah, I, I mean, first off, Marcus is a the – I mean, he, every, anyone who's ever met him knows he's the nicest guy in the world. And he is a pro's pro, man. He handles everything with grace and, and poise. And there, I don't think there's another person that would be handling the situation as good as Marcus has handled it. Um, he's in it. He's, he's around just as much as he was before. He's, you know, I think after my penalties yesterday, Marcus even came up to me and was like, hey, man, it is what it is. Like, you just got to keep going, keep being yourself. Like, he, he's still leading this team um, from a back seat. And so he's done a great job. And, I mean, Tanny's come in and done. He's lit a spark, and he's done. He sits in that pocket, man. And he moves in that pocket so well, and he just rips some balls. So, the, both those guys have done an amazing job, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of both of them. And in terms of you know, from five and five, I mean, Super Bowls have been won from this position, Taylor. I mean, what are you guys yeah. talking about in the locker room as you head to your bye week after after a win over? the Chiefs and the defending uh, MVP coming back from an injury that everybody thought would just put the Chiefs back in the driver's seat and the winning seat. Yeah, that, I mean, I don't think anybody believed we were going to win that game except for the guys in the locker room before the game. And so just to go out there, it did not start well. I mean, the, the way to beat the Chiefs is to keep their offense off the field and to run the clock out, run the ball. And we, we didn't do that at all. They, they killed us in time of possession. Our defense was on the field. They had like 80 plays. And our offense, I mean, we, we scored points. We just ended up scoring points when it mattered, and it's a, it's a big deal. It's a, it's a big deal for the boys right now. It's a good going into the bye week with this kind of energy. We've needed this. But, I mean, like you said, Super Bowls have been won this way. I mean, if you're 5-5, five and five, I think the only goal right now is to go and be consistent because that's what the Titans haven't been, at least since I've been here, is the ebbs and flows of you got to win, then you go down, and it's like, all right, well, we lost or another loss, and then you go two wins. And so – being consistent. I mean, we're in the back half of the season, and there's, you know, everything we want is still up for grabs. Yeah, I mean, the last six games, uh, four in division, home for Jacksonville at Indianapolis. Uh, your la- two of your last three are against Houston, which is currently winning the division. And then the other games, you're, you're visiting Oakland, which may be a potential wild card tiebreak for you guys if the division doesn't wind up somehow in your back pocket. And then home for New Orleans. I mean, those six games, those are six serious games. You, you you can make some hay, no doubt about that, against some serious opponents, Taylor. There's no yeah. doubt about that. No question. No question. Obviously, you want, you know, those five games we wish we had back in certain ways, so we'd be in a better position. But, the, right. I mean, it is what it is. And right now, I mean, all that matters is those next six games, and it starts with Jacksonville next week. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.